Hello there, welcome back to my channel and your second video of the day. My name is Gigi and this is my place. So, um, just finished episode four of Swamp Thing. I really, really, really dig this show. Today's episode seemed to be completely centered around this, this thing that happens in the beginning of the show where these two guys are out in the swamp and they seem to just be chopping down a tree. I can't really tell exactly what they're trying to accomplish other than to chop down a tree. And this one dude is standing next to the other dude watching him with this chainsaw. And this, you don't realize what it is right away. Something falls on top of the dude from out of the tree. And what it is is a decayed corpse. And somehow this corpse is biting his arm. And he yanks it off of him like this. And it cuts him. And something goes inside his arm. You see it go inside his arm. Later that day, dude starts tripping. He's at work which is at the bar where Dr. Abby's friend works. Where she, I, I don't know if she owns the, I, I think her and her dad own the bar. Um, and he's in the kitchen and he thinks something, he's he's doing dishes and he's under his hand is under the water and he thinks, he says, some, oh, it bit me. And he pulls his hand out and there's a snake wrapped around it. But when you see it from everyone else's point of view, there's nothing on his arm. So he's clearly hallucinating and he starts stabbing himself with the knife, trying to get the, knife, the, the snake off of himself. And then he shoves his hand in the garbage disposal after he turns it on. And they pull him out and um, the chick's dad, who owns the bar, gets exposed to his blood. And later on, he starts tripping out. And he thinks that he's seeing some dude, some dudes rob the, the restaurant and kill his mom. Because I guess it's been like a family restaurant. And, um, which is so cool, by the way. I mean, it is just so cool to have something like that that you pass down. I know it's just a story, but that kind of thing warms my heart. Um, and so he starts tripping and then he goes to the hospital and then he passes it on. And so basically whatever went in that dude's arm is traveling from person to person. And so he passes it on to the cop and then the cop passes it on to, um, and the cop being, oh, why can I not think of her name? Hold on. I'm going to find her name. This is scintillating video here. What? Um, I don't. Oh, Jennifer Beals. Her name is uh, Lucilla Cable. That's her name in, in the show. But it's Jennifer Beals, and she is still so fire, by the way. Looking good. And she's the cop, and, and it goes into her, and she sees some dude stab her kid, and she thinks her kid is dying. And, um,. So then the cop scr scratches Abby when she's like trying to get away from her and it goes into Abby and Abby sees it go into her. And um, earlier in the show, before it went into Abby, Abby had actually gone out to the swamp to try to figure out what was going on. And she found that body and the swamp thing dude, um, Alec told her, it needs to come back to the swamp. This darkness needs to come back to the swamp. And so as soon as it goes into her, she's like, I got to get this shit back to the swamp. She gets to the swamp. Sure enough, she starts, just as she gets there, she starts freaking out and she's hallucinating. And then Swamp Thing grabs her and says, let me take this from you. And um, he does. He absorbs the darkness, whatever this thing was. And he takes it back to the body and puts it in the body. First, he starts freaking out. You know, he's like, ah. And um, so he puts it back in the body and then the swamp absorbs the body. And the, the swamp absorbing the body is literally the worst effect I've seen in the show so far. It was not, not their best work. They could have done better. But in a show full of amazing effects, I'm going to go ahead and cut him a little break on this one. Sorry for the awkward jump. I had to blow my nose. And, oh, it's been an allergy day. Um, and I took an allergy pill, by the way. I did. So I'm really irritated by that. Now, two things are going on as an aside. Um, and I think I forgot to mention this in the last episode. There's this dude... And his name is Daniel. He's um, some dude from 90210. 
Jacob, what are you barking oh. at? What is it, baby? There's a mirror in there, so it could be he's barking at himself, but it seemed like he was looking at something else, so I'm not really sure. Now I'm kind of tripped out. But when I asked him what he was barking at, he just walked away like it was nothing, so sometimes dogs are weird. Um, anyway, back to what I was saying. Two things are happening on the side. The first one is there's a student named Daniel, and he keeps interacting with this cool-ass fortune teller chick. First of all, want to be her best friend. She looks so awesome. She is blind, so I could help her get around. She could tell me my fortune. I will make her some edibles. It will be a good relationship. I just feel like we have a connection. But she keeps telling this dude his fortune over and over, and she keeps saying to him, it's always the same, it's always the same. Ever since you got here for eight years, you're here for a reason. You're just going to have to wait, boo-boo, and find out what it is. And last week when he came for his, for his fortune, it was backwards than what it normally was. And this week when he talked to her, she was not at the fortune teller place. She was where he was, and he walked up to her, and he's, she knew right away who it was. And she's like, dude, your time is coming. You need to chill out. You're here for a reason. You are going to know what that reason is, and you're going to act on it when it happens. And it was funny because in this episode, he's the one that stops the cop from shooting Abby. He runs up and knocks her down and gets the gun away from her when she scratches Abby and puts the darkness in her. So, but I feel like that was not it. Like, not that that's not a small, that's not a small thing. That's a big, big thing to do. But I just feel like there's something else. And the interaction that they had made me feel like it was some big, big thing. Um, the other thing that's happening is in the very first episode, the first two dudes that were in the swamp doing the stuff for those doctors, uh, for that scientist guy. Um, actually, that's there's two other things I want to say before we're done here. Um, his daughter is fine now. She's not completely fine, but she's almost over what whatever her dad gave her from the swamp. And from that accelerant that they put in the swamp, which is what caused all of this and started everything clearly, clearly. Um, Baby, are you okay? Just checking on him. Um, it seems like the two rich folks in town, Sunderland's, like they bought her from her uncle. So that's concerning. Um, now the, that, and that's all I really have to say about the show overall for this week. It did not further the plot, but it was a nice little nugget of story of its own. And I think, well, maybe I don't realize it's further the plot. Maybe the darkness has something that's going to drive it forward in further, we in future weeks. So we will stay tuned, of course. Now, um, one of the things, and the other one's already slipped my mind. Uh, the first one was um, the dude that plays Swamp Thing, Derek Mears. Oh, that was the other thing, too. The first thing, Derek Mears. He is awesome. I don't always watch a lot of interviews with people, but he happened to be on Collider, and usually I turn away, but he said something endearing, and so I, I started watching, and he is de-fucking-lightful. IRL want to hang with this dude. He's so upbeat and so positive and so sweet. If you get a chance, go over to the Collider Video channel. I think that's what it's called, Collider Videos, and look at that. Actually, I'm just going to link it below because it's a delightful little, little interview, and he is a delightful guy, and I really enjoy getting to know him a little bit, so that's one thing. And then the other thing, there's a guy in the show named... Um, um, Kevin Durand, and he actually used to be in a show called, um, shoot, what's the name of that show? Let me see it. It's the show about the vampires, but they have a thing that comes out of their mouth. Um, it, it's not that old. It just came out a few years ago. Let me get down to his... You know, Internet Movie Database on the phone is just not as fun. Can I just say that? Um, ah, ah, 
uh, as actor, as actor, I'm sorry. Oh, I'm so sorry. So sorry. Um, he was in a show, The Strain, and that show was uh, like on FX or one of those channels. I forget. I don't remember. But, and I didn't finish it all the way through because... It was kind of awful, but he was good in the show. And the thing about it now is that the part he's playing now is this geeky scientist, blah, 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 bumbling dude. Not really bumbling, but super focused. You know how scientists are like super focused and they don't really pay attention to the other nonsense? You know, like Albert Einstein. He didn't care about his hair because he was busy with science, right? Um... He's so good playing this scientist, but he was so good playing the badass in The Strain. So I'm just so interested in him as an actor, and I want to see more of him. So I, that's just something I thought I would mention. So um, actually, it's 11 minutes on this video. I think it's about time we close it out because the other video today was really long. Um, we've got some more nail videos coming up, and honestly... I need to vlog more. The reason I started this channel was to talk to someone, anyone, the universe. And I'm not doing that. I'm using nails and reviews and whatnot and unboxings as an excuse not to vlog. And those, frankly, those are the, the, the ones that get the best hits. <sighs> not the vlogs. But that's not the reason I made this channel. So, it's part of the reason. It is part of the reason. But I'm not really living up to what I'm supposed to be doing here. So, I am making the videos. I just need to communicate more. So, look for more of that. Um, go ahead and subscribe to the other channel, Down for Glam. Because um, I'm going to start putting some stuff up there pretty soon, too. So, Thanks for watching. Thanks for subscribing. You guys are awesome. And if you are subscribed, you know you're my favorite. And we will talk to you probably tomorrow. I'm going to I'm going to shoot for tomorrow. Yeah.